In my own experiences, as well as working with schools around the world, I'm increasingly asked about teaching and learning culture, whole school teaching and learning policies, and how I would introduce coaching. So um, I've got a methodology here. It's on my website, you can download it already, share a short video and explain the thinking behind it and all the kind of practicalities. Um, I guess I've divided it into a mixture of kind of phases. So whether you have three or four phases or many more, um, and you would divide these over maybe, uh, you know, coaching culture, we're looking at a good couple of years for things to start to really emerge and be embedded. And then you might have various cohorts, so kind of key group, a follow-up group, all staff, a lead person, uh, and all those kind of logistical things behind the scenes. I guess in essence, the first kind of thing is busting some myths about what coaching is, that we can all benefit from coaching. Other things, you know, introducing uh, useful scripts that teachers can use in the busy nature of school life. I guess the critical thing behind the scenes is not only the leadership support, but the practical support. So uh, teaching and learning team, uh, teaching and learning responsibilities, a salary associated with people organising those roles. Structurally, in terms of your timetable, if you're going to release some teachers from their timetables to be coaches, then there's a cost associated. So all these things have to be factored in as well as synchronization of your coaching alongside your quality assurance process, your appraisal process, your CPD exposure to all staff, as well as kind of, you know, day-to-day -day observations, those types of things. Core heart of the kind of first phase I would call, I would say this threads throughout the whole process. Phase two, you're gonna to get to a place where your coaches develop some key skills where they need to start to moderate one another before they even go out to start working with other staff. If I'm coaching you, how do you know that I'm generally being a coach? Um, so how do you introduce a moderation process? Perhaps you and I in a coaching uh, pair, how do we bring in a third person to observe that coaching methodology? So there's lots of different things we can do, um, lots of different methods also, that instructional coaching, uh, lots of different direct methods that we can use from the world of business or sport, or the tools that some of us may have learned in the education sector. And I think that critical thing would happen there, that moderation process, before rolling out to our wider group. This is probably where I then repeat this to another group and then follow the same mechanisms. And behind the scenes, we're still tweaking teaching and learning policies, coaching cultures, appraisal policies, etc., etc. And then at some point, whole staff are going to start to be exposed to some of these tools methods, documents, so that we can start to think about what's the one thing that's going to drive teacher improvement. So there's a lot more on my blog that you can download and read. There's some manuals, you can grab this timeline. So I just thought that this document might prompt a few thoughts in your own school setting as to how you can unlock teacher potential. Um, during the pandemic, we've all had to kind of take our foot off the gas, reboot our culture, etc. And the schools that I work with around the world, more and more are trying to get back to the classroom business, raising teacher pedagogy and trying to reboot their teaching cultures. And what's the one thing that I think does that? Well, I think not only talking about teaching and learning on a day-to-day -day basis, research and form methods, but getting your teachers together collectively to share ideas, to talk about teaching and learning on a regular basis underpinned by very strong and robust coaching processes. Your, your teaching team will fly. So uh, take a look, let me know what you think, and good luck with your own coaching journey.